So I want to show you, I want to give you a quick tutorial of how to make a design like this. It takes literally two minutes, even less than if you if you have the graphics, I mean the SVG. So if something you're interested in, keep watching till the end. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where I teach you how to make money and I fast and easy. In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial of how to make a design like this. In um, one of my top 5 niches of the week, uh, this design has been trending, including this one. They are related to spots. I know this January, they have... Um, are doing a lot of spots including winter spots so anything related to spots is really really trending and um, this one is for a tennis paddle and this other one is a basketball but this video i'm going to show you how to do a basketball but the tennis paddle is similar to the basketball so if you know how to do the basketball you know how to do the tennis paddle um, so before we get into the tutorial i want to quickly announce that i'm running a giveaway currently running a giveaway and um, it's remaining three days before um, I stop it. And what I'm giving away actually is um, Kindle Direct Publishing course and Merge by Amazon courses. So right here, let me just quickly show you. Here's my website, moneyonlineofficial.com. I have two courses right here. And um, let's take for example the Merge by Amazon course. Let me just show you the models that I have there that you'll be learning about so you'll be more informed um, about what I am teaching. So it's actually priced $57, but you can re reduce that to $40, $45. And I priced it at $45 because that's the money that I had in my account when I began this journey. So uh, because Many people at that time wanted to purchase a course and all the courses were pretty expensive like a thousand dollars five hundred dollars and things like that i didn't have money at that time so um now that i've created a course i decided to price it at the amount that i had at the beginning of my merch on um, print on demand and kdp journey so if you want to get a 20 percent discount just um enter join the email list there's one there are two ways you can do it um you can enter the email list and you receive updates as well as the discount 20 percent discount or you can enter the giveaway so those are two ways immediately you enter you're going to receive your 20 percent discount so immediately um the giveaway ends you're going to that's even if you did not win by the way there are two winners even if you did not win you're going to have your discount to purchase the cost it's 45 dollars and um all the links to the course as well as the website are in the description below so in this past month i did approximately a thousand dollars in sales i'm talking about december month of this month 2021 i did about a thousand dollars in sales and i spent about 127 dollars and this is for the u.s market and uh, for the uk market the reason why it's down like this is because i've turned off all my ads that's because I, I only advertise for holidays so now my ads are turned off because there's no major holiday that i'm going to advertise for but i also I, I advertise for the u.s market as well as the uk market so this is the one for the uk market and it is uh, spent about nine pounds to have 237 um, pounds in sales so I'm going to show you everything that I did, that's the bidding, um, how to get the agent, everything related to ads. I'm going to show you all of that inside this course. So not only am I, go am I going to show you how to advertise, I have other things that I'm going to talk about. And it's um, this one, list of one, applying for a an account, niche research, how to design, how to upload your artwork everything that has this is the advertising model here right here lesson seven 21 good minutes guys <laughs> that i show you how to um advertise when to turn off your ads things like that everything related to advertising so um if you're interested in getting this course like i said before don't forget to enter the 
giveaway that I'm currently running right now is gonna be off in three days time and two winners are gonna be chosen for both courses as a print on demand course, Merge Amazon course and uh, Kindle Direct Publishing course. So with that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. So this is Creative Fabrica. The link to Creative Fabrica is in the the link to Creative Fabrica is in the description below. And um, from Creative Fabrica, let me just go there to Creative Fabrica, then I show from you. From creativefabrica.com, I use it for print on demand for KDP. They have so many designs that you can use. Here you uh, you click on POD and you see so many print on demand designs. They have fonts, they have crafts, everything that you have to use for um, that you can use for print on demand. KDP is right here, uh, but I'm not talking about that. What I want to talk about is these tools and uh, go to Ship Cloud. So that's how I arrive on the Ship Cloud tool. Unfortunately, I refreshed it and the design just, um, it went back to the beginning, but I'm going to show you how I did that design. So what you want to do is change this um, outline because right here, this outline is this man right here. And uh, maybe if you want a star outline, you can use this. It changes to a star. When you click star, you click update changes right here, and it's going to change to a star. So if you want any of these designs right here, just click it, then click update changes, and it's going to change. But we want a basketball design. In um, Before I started the video, I already downloaded a an outline from Vexels, basketball outline. So this is the one that I chose. And um, you guys know I always talk about Vexels right there. My number one design. Um, I I use Crazy Fabrica and Vexels. They are the two most um, the best, the best when it comes to print on demand and KDP designs. So for Vexels, I have the lifetime plan, but unfortunately, there's no lifetime plan with Crazy Fabrica. So. If there is a lifetime plan, I'll definitely go for it. So if you're also interested in having a lifetime plan with Vexels, um, that there's a link in the description below and you can receive up to 35% discount. Okay, so talking about Vexels, I click this and um, download, click download and click SVGs. So the Shape Cloud uses um, SVG, not PNG. So you have to be careful with that. So click SVG and it's gonna download. I already downloaded mine, so I'm gonna go back to the Shape Cloud and I'm gonna upload it here. It says upload your ship. Click select file, then I'm gonna choose the ship. So once I uploaded it, look at this. In a matter of seconds, it already replaced everything. So these words are not what I want in here. So I'm going to change these words. I'm just going to exit out of it like this. Then go to Fly Upload. Fly Upload is another tool that I use to upload my print on demand designs to all my print on demand platforms. And in this video, um, what I did was I put the basketball design like this, then put the tag basketball. I like that it is open. That's why. Let me show you. Let me close this, then show you. So what I'm using here is a keyword finder tool. I use it all the time. And these are words that people are searching for. So I'm going to highlight that basketball. Then click on keywords. It's going to open this up. So these are keywords that I've used before. Um, that's one of the reasons that I like it. It shows me keywords I've used before. It also gives me long take keywords. So I just click it like this. And all the keywords come down here. But that's not what I'm doing for this video. For this video um what i'm going to do is choose words related to basketball so for example i'm going to choose basketball itself basketball click enter then choose another word maybe game hoop jersey player let's do that because that's what i had before so game hoop Jersey player coach. What else? Team sport. So let's 
leave it at those ones we have sport and team so when we are done updating so before i even click update changes let's come down here and choose the color i want to change the colors orange because the basketball is orange so instead of blue i'm gonna scroll down to orange click on orange then um go back up and update the changes so in a matter of seconds you have your design updated to what you want it to be so that was how it was very very easy to create a design like this one right here look at this and you place it on a black background let me download it and show you how it looks like on the black background so the next thing is to download our design so if you want to include more words just include it and update the changes but i think this is okay for now so just click download design and it says download your design as a p i want to download it as a png so so yes my design um let's look at the dimensions yeah it's not in the much amazon dimension so i have to make it into 4500 by 5400 pixels and um, without the upload it to much amazon so what i'm going to do is um, i use merge informer so i'm going to sign into merge informer and then show you what i will do so this is my merge informer dashboard but I'm going to use the design tool that's my favorite uh, way of designing so I'm going to quickly log in then continue the video so I'm inside my Merge Informers Designer dashboard so what I want to do is upload that design that I just downloaded here in the images drop the image just click and drop drag and drop drag and drop so i click that and um, you see in a matter of seconds i'll have my design ready so i just resize that a little bit then click on download so hit download by the way the download is right here download then drag and drop so here's my design and i'm going to go to tools go to size and you'll not see that it's for 500 by 400 pixels so that's how i like to do it but you can use another way to, you can use another way but this is how i like to do it so guys that's it for this video if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up if you like to learn more about print on demand and kdp this is a channel for you hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification so you'll be the first notified when i release a new video with that being said see you on the next one